Okay, let's take a trip down into my newly created shop down in the basement. I'll take you along with me while I do the tag video. My friend Muzzle Mike tagged me to do what do you carry with you every day. So I'll show you. This used to be a total junky basement, dark dungeon type, hardly any light or anything. Over in the corner there was just piles of dilapidated stuff and it was all rusty and damp and moldy and everything. So since then I have straightened out the basement. So I'll take you on a little tour starting to the back most part. I put in two sets of shelves across the back here with all of my tools and various items and things like that. This is just leftover cat boxes from when I had more cats than I have now. And uh, on the top there I just store newspapers and old rags for wiping with and stuff like that. And then these are the various tools. It's a jigsaw, dremel set, soldering iron, and then some other various drills, cordless and corded drills. And then there's my leak stuff. I've been working on the walls here. You can probably tell by the different colors that we've got some penhole leaks here. In fact, there's one right about there I have to take care of, but it's still dribbling a little bit. I don't have any major leaks or anything like that. They don't even go out over the floor, but it's just a tiny amount of moisture, and it's like, well, since I've got this stuff, I might as well fix it myself. And then just all of the rest of my various tools and stuff. I got paints and stuff inside, too. I don't want to keep them out in the garage in the wintertime because they'll freeze, and then it ruins the paint. And then a bunch of cardboard boxes. There's all my different clamps especially my quick clamps and stuff like that. Uh, there's my power supply in case the power goes out. My deep cycle battery which is actually a substitute deep cycle battery that's actually a leftover car battery that I had so I haven't switched to a deep cycle battery because it does good enough lasts for a couple of days. Wheelchair battery and then a 1000 watt inverter that gives me about 110 volts at about 8 to 9 amps and then I plug in this and it diverts the power clear to the front part of the house uh, about 30 foot away and uh, yeah I can run some lightweight stuff I can't run refrigerators and air conditioners and heaters and stuff like that but um, there's my two nice little stools to sit in when I want to sit and work but I made my workbench kind of a stand-up workbench it's a little bit taller than your normal 29 inch work height but it's also a little bit shorter than a regular stand-up desk because I want to be able to push down on my work and if I have to clamp things or put weights on top of things, but yeah, that's my little workspace. I've been using it to fix vacuum cleaners, do a little bit of staining, a little bit of fixing furniture, various things like that. And then uh, those are my two garbage pails. Oh, there's one my that's my one kitty cat box too for the one kitty cat, the big Maine Coon. That's uh, not a regular cat box. I she can't fit. She's so big she can't fit in a cat box. So I had to get the biggest Rubbermaid container that I could find that seemed to be pretty good quality. And that's her little cat box. And then some other stuff just stuffed in the corner. There's my downstairs computer so I can watch YouTube videos or look stuff up or whatever when I'm working down the workshop. There's my amateur radio. I just got finished with my Morse code net. Yeah, I do a little bit of Morse code, uh, a learning net for people that want to learn Morse code. You don't really have to for amateur radio anymore, but I've got this little device here. So I can do the dots and dashes. And so, yeah, in Chicago, anybody in Chicago that wants to learn Morse code, if you're an amateur radio licensed amateur radio operator, we have it every Sunday at 5 p.m. We have a Morse code learning net. So anyway, let's get on with the tag. I've probably wasted about six minutes and not even started on the tag. So let's go. This is everything I carry on my person. And usually, even in the summertime, I have this either with me or I'm wearing it just for the pockets about it. And what's in the pockets here? You know that, uh, what's that Gollum from uh, uh, Lord of the Rings? What does it got in its pockets, is, eh? The little nasty hobbits. So I got that charging unit there to be able to charge a cell phone or any other device similar to a cell phone, tablet, whatever. And then the other pocket, I've got another one. So they will charge up a cell phone about two and a half times a normal size cell phone, not one of those big ones. A big cell phone or a small tablet, maybe one time, and then they're pretty much done. But they carry a full charge. These were like, I just checked them a few minutes ago. These have been carried around, and I haven't used them much in the last month and a half. They, got, they both got full charge on them, so I keep those in my jacket pocket. And then, actually, you know what? I'm going to sit you down. Let me arrange you on the tripod, and I'm going to sit you down. 
And then as I take stuff out of my pocket, I will lay it on the table. And this camera, by the way, this camera and tripod I carry with me all the time too. But I'm not going to be able to show it to you because I'm using it for filming. It's just a little cheapo tripod like they have at uh, the Dollar Tree store. I think I paid a dollar for it, as a matter of fact. Yeah, everything's a dollar at the dollar store or whatever. So yeah, that's the little tabletop tripod. And the camera is a Sony DSC 800 something, whatever. It's it's about a $150 camera, but you can find it on sale for 100 bucks. So here we go. This is, uh, I'll show you here. This is my, I'm going to do my belt pouch first, my belt holster, which the camera you're watching this on is usually in here but it's not in there, but I've got a few other items too, so you'll see them on the table here. My LED converted flashlight, it was a regular mag light and I bought the conversion kit. In fact, as you can see, it's two different mag lights. I don't know why that is, but for some reason I put a blue one with a black one. Just probably what was handy. And my cell phone, just the normal run-of-the-mill cell phone, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing really great. And then a uh, regular Sharpie, double-sided Sharpie that's got the fine point and just regular Sharpie on the other end. Use that at work a lot of times for marking boxes or whatever. So that's everything that's in my little uh, pocket holster. Now we're gonna do the pockets. My left pocket, paper towels. I always keep two sets of paper towels wadded up with me. My wallet, of course. And then a set of reading glasses, although I can read without them, I, but for real close up work, I still like some 3X power reading glasses. So I keep those with me. So let's go on. That's everything on my left pocket. Still got out pair of headphones, really good quality headphones, but they're cheap. I think I got them on Amazon, but they're really good headphones and they work with this in case I want to listen to something in a public area and not disturb anybody. So that's everything from my left pocket. Let's go to the right pocket. The right pocket has the tripod that you can't see that's underneath that's holding the camera up. First off, the tripod. Then I've got cigarette lighter. Always should carry with you some way to start fire. And as it has it, and I think it needs to be replaced. I'm out. So good thing I checked on that. But normally it did work, but I think it's out of fuel now. Probably just from pressing into my pocket anyway. And two ink pens. You notice one of the ink pens has electric tape on it. I got about a foot and a half of electric tape. So in case I don't have the roll with me and I'm working on something electrical, I can do that. And I always carry two pens because somebody always wants to borrow one. So this is the one they get to use and borrow. And if I don't get it back, I have to hunt them down. But if I need one to use myself, I got this one. So I got two ink pens, a pair of pliers, and the reason why I've got this piece of cardboard wrapped in duct tape is just to keep it from poking through my pocket. I was putting holes in my pocket, so that's why I keep it this way. So, Regular pair of pliers, and boy, these have come in handy so much. Sometimes I need them way more than I need a set of screwdrivers. But for my set of screwdrivers, I've got the regular old uh, Swiss Army knife, which actually, believe it or not, this makes a really good Phillips screwdriver. It's a small regular screwdriver and a can opener. That's a bottle opener and a large one. But some of these, like this one here, now this one's actually better than they used to be. It's actually functional. The old ones like this, they were horrible Phillips screwdrivers. They were not even functional at all. This one's pretty decent compared to what it used to be. But, and then you got your hole punch too for your, your leather punch, punching through leather or thick materials or stuff like that. Regular leather all. But yeah, I think this one's a Spartan or a Tinker or something. I don't remember which one it is, but it's not a, it's not one of the most expensive ones. I think it's it's one up from the cheapest one that they make. And you can find these on sale for about 15 to 18 bucks too. Don't pay 25 bucks for it, full retail. What else? Uh, pair of nail clippers always come in handy too. You can use that even for cutting cutting uh, small string and threads and stuff like that, not just for trimming your nails. And then uh. All the rest is just various coins and change and stuff like that in my right pocket. Now let's go to the to the back right pocket. This is all my paperwork with my notes and stuff like that when I write down notes when I'm working on equipment. But I also, when I got my gift cards too, I'll show you those in a minute. Piece of sandpaper, I always keep a piece of sandpaper, that's handy. And then inside the sandpaper, one band-aid. In case I stick myself or cut myself and I'm bleeding like a stuck pig. So yeah, these are just various, uh, Various notes to scribble on for model numbers and things like that when I'm working on projects. And then all my different, I guess, a couple of Dunkin' Donuts gift cards, Starbucks. When people give me presents, they give me cards because they know I like this. Subway, Subway, Starbucks, and Dunkin' Donuts. So I still got, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll combine together. There's probably about 20 bucks on these, but good enough for me. 
and then back left pocket. Rubber bands and the rubber band man. These have come in handy so many times having rubber bands with you. So I just keep them with me. One time I, the, um, the brakes fell loose on the back of my uh, bicycle and I just uh, used a bunch of rubber bands and just rubber banded them up out of the way so that they wouldn't rub against the tire. So use, all, use them for all sorts of stuff. Between, I figure between the rubber bands holding something out of the way and some electric tape, you can probably get yourself home if something's dangling in the way or binding or something like that. You can at least get yourself home. So I think, oh, wait a minute, one more thing. The small pocket of my jeans, you've got that tiny watch pocket. I always keep hearing protection too. Nothing more important than eye protection and hearing protection. And since I do wear glasses, I used to wear contacts, but now I wear glasses. But nothing more important than protecting your eyes. So, you know what? I will actually will take you to see Magic Mirror. Yeah, I've got a Magic Mirror here. I'm going to take you to see what this um, camera and uh, tripod looks like. Cheapo dollar store tripod. So let's go see Magic Mirror. I'll move this out of the way. It's just an empty... Uh, empty crate but see there you can I think you can see there in the magic mirror just a little cheap dollar tripod used to be red but I think almost all the red color is gone except towards the back there maybe you can't even see it but yeah just a, a nice Sony $150 camera on a cheap dollar store dollar tripod so anyway that's about what I keep with me and what I carry with me every day so uh, I'm not going to tag anybody. If, some, if anybody feels like doing this as a tag, go right ahead and do it. But it's basically, I think it, um, Muzzle Mike passed it on to me, and I think it started with a user on YouTube called Cave Troll. And I have no idea who Cave Troll is, but if you feel like doing it, do it. What do you carry with yourself pretty much 90% of the time or every day on your belt, uh, in your pockets? What do you carry with you all the time? So that's about it. Talk to you guys later.